Welcome to a weekend vlog. Here we go. Um, what is up, beautiful people? Now, people always stop me in the street and they say to me, hey, aren't you? And I say, yes, it's me, Tool. Thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's lots of fun and it's free. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, baby. All right. Ooh. This vanilla diorama makes me sneeze all the time oh sorry sorry for the sniffing um welcome to a weekend vlog i am on my way to the movies um we're gonna watch house of gucci with lady gaga i haven't heard great things about it but i'll let you know after the film but before that we're going to kfc to try these donut and chicken burgers and these bunny ch uh, the chicken strip, uh, fried chicken strips and all of that. There's a pop-up in Rosebank. So yeah, let me get going. Um, everyone always thinks that I'm gonna be late, but I am not going to be late. Watch this. Gucci, I thought that the film was pretty good. Um, I don't think I've ever watched anything that Ridley Scott has uh, directed, so it was really nice to see some of his work. Um, and Lady Gaga was fantastic. Not, I don't think it was Academy Award winning, but I think it was great. And Jared Leto was was great. I think he was one of the only people which I feel held the Italian accent throughout. Um, I think it's, it's challenging. Jeremy Irons, is, I think it was Jeremy Irons, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I heard some British accent um, at some points. So, um, but it was really interesting to know the story uh, of Gucci. Um, so do yourself a favor, go watch it. It is uh, a great movie despite what the critics are saying about it. Um, so yeah, I have to shoot some Nespresso content tomorrow. That, um, I'm working with them on a campaign. Uh, I have to shoot real. So with their new their, um, their limited edition capsules, which is roasted, roasted ground coffee, which is forest black. And this flavor is Forest almond, and I think I'm missing one more. This one, right? This is forest fruit flavor. So there's three limited editions for the festive season. But go follow me on Instagram to see the real. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna shoot that tomorrow. Right now, I'm going to head on over to the couch and watch. I think one or two episodes of Coming Out Colton, which dropped today on Netflix. Um, basically, it's about The Bachelor that came out of the closet, which was very interesting. And he had a restraining order against his um, the person that he won with, I think. Um, and yeah, it was wild. That story is wild. And then he came out of the closet. So um, I'm interested to see what he has to say. Anyways, but... 
until then, I will see you guys tomorrow, uh, maybe afternoon, when I am filming the reels. Good afternoon to you. Um, I've just finished a meeting. It's sort of 10 a.m. It's now 2.30. Yeah, I finished half an hour ago. Very intense and yeah, just a lot. So anyways, um, so much for um, filming my content this afternoon for Nespresso. I'm gonna have to do it tomorrow morning. Um, because last, yesterday, I had coffee in the afternoon and did I not sleep until four this morning? I was exhausted. Maybe it was also anxiety about this meeting that I had. Um, I, I think it was that too. But, um, yeah, that's done. Um, what do I want to say? Oh, last night, we were meant to go to... Uh, KFC obviously as I said in the beginning of the video um, but the queue outside KFC for this pop-up was ridiculous I, for donut sandwiches I think chicken skin um, it's chicken skins where you could buy that there's just a whole bunch of things on on the pop-up menu it ends I think on the fifth I think that's what's today I don't even know what today's date is but yeah it ends very soon uh, but the queue was ridiculous and we're like no so then we went to momo which was actually really uh, cute i haven't been to that one i normally go to the one in uh lovo and we had i had um amazing sushi um well not amazing it was good it's not oishi but it was good um but uh one of my one of my favorite dishes there is the poke bowl um but yeah anywho that's me. I'm on my way home uh, after this meeting and I'm so drained and I'm meant to be going to Marble tonight for a friend's birthday but I am like beyond drained from today so I don't know if I will make it. I'll see how I feel a little bit later. And I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Oh, and I watched um, Colton's um, show, just the first episode. <sighs> mm. Let me just finish it and then I'll give, give you my honest opinion. Okay, sorry, this is a very unflattering angle, but anyways. Yeah. Um, I'm meant to go to the Joburg Foodies birthday tonight, but um, I'm just so emotionally drained, physically drained. I mean, I only had a couple of hours sleep um, last night, well, early hours of this morning, and just, yeah, I'm just super drained after today. So, yeah, I'm not going to be able to make marble tonight uh, like I feel so badly like because I'm always one if I RSVP yes that I'm coming I make sure that I am there um, <clears throat> and if I know that I'm not going to be able to make it I'm going to say no so ooh, and it's raining um, so yeah Unfortunately, but I'll make it up to him. I'll see him at another time, another stage. Let me show you the rain. I don't think you can see it, but it's raining outside. From where we're sitting. So yeah, I'm just gonna rest and take it easy. Just recoup and. Yeah, exactly that. <laughs> Busy washing dishes and 
it is uh, 10.43. I just want to shoot my reels now um, with an espresso, an espresso over there. Um, yeah, so I want to get that done and then I'll edit this afternoon. And I might even edit this vlog. Um, I am feeling a bit better. I had a long conversation with Daniel, um, who made me feel a lot better. <sighs> yeah, it is what it is. Um, yeah, so this, I meant to shoot this Nespresso and it's meant to be festive. So I'm like, I can't, I don't have like a festive jersey or anything like that, you know? And in South Africa, we have warm Christmas. It's hot here. So, you know, for festive, when you think of the festive themes, you think red and green and warmth and, you know, like an American Christmas. Um, but I don't have anything like that. I mean, I might, I do have a red long sleeve shirt, which I could wear, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so let me, I'm just cleaning up this area so that when I shoot my reel for an espresso, it looks presentable. It's my place is not a mess. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm gonna do that and uh, yeah, it's and then I'm gonna oh I've got uh, lunch at Embark. It's been raining still this morning. It was raining and I think there's gonna be more rain a little bit later. Um, so Kulanaki will be a little bit dreary to go to today, which is sad, sad in sadly, but um, yeah. We'll go to embark. I, I think my new thing now is to have multiple reservations. I think, yeah, <laughs> multiple reservations at popular um, at popular restaurants so that I can pick and choose where I want to go to um, on, on the day. I don't know if that annoys the the restaurant owners, but you know, at least I will have a se secured a table. Anyways, I'm rambling. Um, yeah, let me finish washing dishes and then shoot this reel. Okay, I am dressed and ready for lunch at Embark. Um, yeah, I just posted something quite cute on Instagram where people need to guess which Dior fragrance I'm going to be wearing today. Um, I love a curation. You see, I just put the fragrances on my bed and which one will I wear today? Definitely you. <laughs> this is one of my favorite fragrances. I need to um, stock up on more of it. Um, but I want like the big, big, big one. Uh, lunch is in Parkhurst um, at Embark. So it's raining out. Um, so I think embark would be a lot better because it's indoors um kolonaki is stunning when it's outdoors so it's 12 o'clock and i'm ready i'm about to leave lunch is at 12 30 meaning i will be early
so today was my first time at Embark and I'm so glad I suggested it because it was unbelievable. <laughs> yep. Pedro told me. What? Sorry, I, don't, I can't hear you? What? No. Um, I'm so glad I suggested this restaurant to come to. And no, honestly, the food here is exceptional. It's climbed to one of my favorite restaurants in the city. Yes, truly. And I'm so glad that I was able to manage to get a booking and with uh, sad. I'm sad. So guys, I'll link all the information for Embark down below. <laughs> You're not doing that. Pedro, what did you think of your food? Terrible. A terrible restaurant. You know why? Because you suggested it. <laughs> I am back home from Embark and I was thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with the restaurant. Um, it could actually be one of my favorite restaurants in Johannesburg, uh, as I think I said in the previous clip. But um, yeah, it was fun. Um, yeah, I have not done my Nespresso content. So yeah, I'm the king of procrastination because I can't drink coffee now and make it and, and like I'm lazy for Sunday. <laughs> So I might think I'm going to do it uh, tomorrow morning and then submit it in the morning too. Um, but yeah, I want to thank you so much for getting this far. One thing I do want to say to you guys is don't let one day in your life ruin the days after that. Um, I think compartmentalize everything and even if you have one bad day, make sure it's one day that, you, that it's bad and not continue into it so always try to have a positive outlook on things and um i know sometimes it might be challenging and difficult but you know when you have a positive outlook on things and see the see things in a greater better space then the world is yours the world can be yours <laughs> anyways uh, i'm gonna love and leave you um, there's only one thing left to say. Make sure you like this video if you did like it. And if you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? And good night. God bless. Goodbye.